A rideshare driver is taking legal action tonight after he was shot at while on the job last month. Pictures show the damage caused by that gunfire. Amazingly, neither the driver nor his passengers were injured in the shooting. But after that shooting, the driver was beaten by a group of people. The entire incident was captured on dash cam video. We do want to warn you that some of that video might be hard for some people to watch. ABC 7's Liz Nakey has more on the lawsuit being filed tonight and the dash cam video that captured the attack. The driver's dash cam starts on this ride. It's about 3 a.m. on December 19th, showing a female passenger slouched in the back seat, whispering on her cell phone. Another passenger, who you can't see in the dash cam video, is hiding on the floor of the car. Oh, Within 30 seconds, an SUV behind the lift pulls alongside them, <laughs> and someone starts firing into the vehicle. Go! Go! Bullets shatter the windshield and startle the driver and both passengers, but the gunfire did not hit anyone inside the car. Hurry up! Drive down! As the passengers repeatedly scream at the driver to speed up and keep going. You can actually see in the video that my client is on the phone thinking quickly. He followed his training from Lyft to contact their emergency hotline immediately so that the authorities could be notified and that the vehicle could be tracked and therefore help provided. The driver keeps going through the south side neighborhood. The passengers are screaming at him to drive as fast as he can. You can see him fleeing the scene. The SUV is still following. Eventually he makes it to the destination with the passengers in his car, hoping and believing that the police are going to be there waiting for him. Instead, there are no police. The passengers bail out of the car and then about two or three men punch the male driver over and over again before he's able to speed off with shattered windows and a badly beaten face. Lyft said in a statement they've reached out to the driver to offer their support and will cooperate with the police investigation that's already underway. The attorney for the driver says that litigation is pending and the driver is still recovering from physical and emotional injuries.